So it just all seems very fishy and not okay. Morgan Bentley says she's at the end of her rope. I have left like reviews. I have reached out to multiple lines of like people to try to figure out something. The St. Lucie County resident's story isn't all that unlike the one she watched on NBC Nightly News, one she wasn't surprised to see. Not at all. Mm -mm. She says when she went to HCA Florida St. Lucie for a hysterectomy in October, she was told at the last minute an ER doctor would do the procedure instead of an OBGYN. So I left because I felt very uncomfortable with the situation at HCA. The charge nurse that was there seemed baffled. He said that the situation within itself seemed odd to him as well, and it seemed off. So I left. Reading hospital reviews afterwards, she wasn't that surprised at her experience. Similar people who have had the same experiences with it seemed like they were just trying to take money. An HCA ICU nurse not wanting to go on camera wasn't shocked at her story, telling me doctors are assigned more patients than they can handle and that money is prioritized over care. I reached out to HCA directly to address all allegations. A spokesperson for the company denied an on camera interview but sent me this statement reading in part quote our patients can be assured they're receiving quality health care through the many accolades we have received for our quality performance by independent third party organizations. According to the Center for Medicare and Medicaid, two HCA hospitals in Palm Beach County are rated only two stars for overall quality, while HCA Lawnwood and Fort Pierce received just one star, all far below the national average. According to LeapFrog, a federally recognized nonprofit, four out of the six South Florida HCAs got an A grade for overall quality, while HCA Florida JFK and Atlantis scored a C. I'm happy that someone finally noticed, because like I said, I had tried finding lawyers. Morgan just hopes her story warned someone else, fearing what would have happened had she not walked out of that procedure. I hope that people, I don't know, I hope maybe the healthcare system changes because I mean, I feel like they take advantage of the situation.